Shape of Water is the latest film from director Guillermo del Toro, starring Sally Hawkins and Michael Shannon. Probably the largest mystery in this movie, however, is the amphibian creature that carries most of the focus. Now, this creature has jokingly been called the father or grandfather of Abe Sapien, who is from T del Toro's Hellboy movies, and this is because they are both played by the same actor, Doug Jones. It's interesting to point out that this movie seems based upon an outline by del Toro that he made for the creature from the Black Lagoon movie, which was never actually and it never actually got produced, but it was based it was like basically it was a reboot. Now, based on dialogue from the movie, it can be assumed that this creature is actually the Gill Man from said movie, which comes from the Amazon rainforest, where it's worshipped as a god by the natives around it. As far as anyone knows, it's the, also the last surviving member of its race, which would probably explain why they only captured one and brought it to the laboratory that most of the movie Shape of Water takes place in. Now, while in its aquatic environment, the creature requires water mixed with salt and other chemicals to replicate the conditions that it's from. And it's really interesting actually because this creature is beautiful in the movie. They, it's beautifully designed. And I, I didn't even know actually that this was based off the creature of the Black Lagoon until looking at interviews from Del Toro. So in this video, if you couldn't tell so far from the title or what we've gone over, we're going to explain the creature a bit. The creature while amphibious does need to be back in an aquatic environment after a set period of time. If not, it undergoes kind of a form of shock. It also has webbed hands and underarms, accompanied by sharp claws at the end of each finger. The scales on the creature, while not bulletproof, can withstand a lot of blunt trauma and even a lot of cattle prongs, which it undergoes in the movie, which is beyond the level at which a human could normally undergo without dying. And I think it's easy to mention, but due to kind of its environment underwater and how it has to move around and the amount of speed it can move underwater, it's safe to say this creature is a lot stronger than the average individual and can heal itself also from almost any injury which ha obviously has no relation to its strength but is a really interesting moment in the movie I mean it gets shot point blank range in the chest by gunfire and just it gets hurt obviously at, for a while and you think it's dead but then it comes back and it's a beautiful scene every time it heals itself or it heals others it kind of glows up and it's just Del Toro really knows how to make beautiful monsters in his movies Besides its interesting physical features and capabilities, the creature also has an interesting healing ability, which operates both on a literal level in the movie and more of a narrative level. Now the creature heals other characters in this movie, but I'm really going to focus on the main female lead played by Sally Hawkins. Now the creature does heal her in the movie, yes, but it also heals her by making her feel like not such an outsider, and seeing her for who she is instead of someone with a disability because her character is mute in the movie. And there's actually a very touching scene where she's talking to one of her friends and telling her friend that, you know, one reason why she really cares about this creature is because it sees her not as a minority, not as someone that's missing something, such as her ability to speak, but it sees her for who she is and everything that she can be and everything that she is currently. Now, the creature from The Shape of Water is a character that, actually, while never speaking any dialogue, has the most impact out of any other character in this movie. And it's interesting because we've touched upon a few basics of the creature, but if you would like to know more, like analyzing the themes of Shape of Water, things like that, just let us down below. We'd be more than happy to do a video on it or write an article on it. And with all that said and done, we hope you guys enjoy this kind of a general overview and kind of explaining the monster from Shape of Water. And see you guys later.